Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Welcome at uh, Institut Francais de la Mode on this uh, fantastic day, fantastic weather conditions. Uh, you, I think you would all have loved to be outside, but you're here on this open day. Uh, I am Hans, Hans de Foer, uh, and I was asked to walk you through uh, some insight of the uh, Bachelor program in fashion design here at IFM. I'm co-directing this program and the design programs at Institut Francais de la Mode together with uh, Céline Toledano, who's in the room. Hi, Céline. Um, so, but before we go there, I would love to walk you a little bit more uh, through the Institute, what the Institute is about and what this Institute is standing for. So as you see here, uh, Institut Francais de la Mode is a member of ESAM University, it's a group of universities uh, that is uh, including as well the Sorbonne as Arts et Métiers, and there are the two in, uh, universities that stand for something here in France. It's part as well of the Conférence des Grandes Écoles, and the Grandes Écoles in France means uh, mean as well something. And also they're part of an international foundation of fashion technology institutes called IFTI. So it means that we are situated in a bigger picture than only here in France and Paris. It is supported by the French Ministry of Economy, but also recognized by the French Ministry of Higher Education, which gives us the opportunity to deliver state recognized diplomas as well for certain of our programs. What the Institute is standing for uh, as well is uh, a place where three major pillars of our um, sector, the fashion sector, are meeting, meaning design, management, and know-how. These are the three pillars that are actually making our sector, and students of these three directions are actually sitting in the Institute and working together through their curriculums. Now, what else do we offer? We offer uh, higher education, cross-fertilizing training programs in fashion design, but also fashion management and know-how craftsmanships, as I just said. Designers and students sitting here and working together. We are over more a training center for apprentices. We offer short certificate and custom designed ex executive des uh, education for people who are already working in the industry and coming here for additional uh, know-how that can be in the, in the frame of a company or on an indi individual base, and we train about 2,000 uh, individuals throughout the year each year. We offer also uh, academic research activities, so um, a lot of uh, companies come here for specific uh, questions on the sector. We have an economic observatory where this, the French uh, economy, uh, the, the French government of economy is coming for specific studies on the fashion sector as well. And we offer one of the most complete specialized libraries in France on fashion as well. That's on the ground level here at the Institute. What else do we offer? We offer a very strategic location, knowing that we're in the very heart of the global capital of fashion, meaning Paris. Um, I think World, worldwide and globally, it's accepted now that Paris, which was the crib of fashion many moons ago, is today the, the, the capital of fashion worldwide, um, housing also one of the most, in the actually the most important uh, fashion week in the world. And that gives us an easy access to partner companies and their international headquarters, which you can see on the map here. You see Institut Francais de la Mode, and then you see a couple of our partners where they're situate situated in Paris and where a lot of our alumni are working today. What else do we offer? We offer international recognition as the business of fashion in 2017 ranking outcome uh, positioned as first worldwide fashion business master's programs and second worldwide fashion design master's programs um, in the world, which is definitely a very important position for us. What else do we offer? We offer new school and new premises as well. Like by out autumn 2020, we will have an 8,000 square meters campus in this very building. Now in that for the moment we occupy about a fifth of the building, by 200 2020 we'll occupy the whole building, offering studios, workshops, fab labs, do-it-yourself workshops, knit workshops, a leather workshop, photo studio, and many, many things more for designers to be able to express themselves fully through their studies here at the Institute. 
Another thing I would like to speak about is this uh, device, Unity Makes Strengths, which is actually the device of my country, Belgium, but it means also something for the Institute. Actually, the Institute, as it is uh, existing now, is the um, union of two schools, two schools that made their mark in the world of fashion. On one ha hand, the École de la Chambre Syndicale de la Couture Parisienne, uh, that embodied excellence à la Française and know-how since 1927, long time ago, and also IFM that was a pioneer in fashion management e education since 1986. Now together they were also known for the uh, creative programs um, where they train people to um, be able to connect with a professional environment. It's not only about being creative, which is perfectly important in what we're doing here, but also making the, uh, to understand what it takes to be fully operational into a studio, into the actual, actual active uh, professional world. Now their union offers Paris a new, open-minded and visionary fashion campus, this one, that's housing the three pillars, as I spoke about before, of our fashion sector, meaning design, know-how and management all together under the same roof to prepare what we like to say the future of fashion future. Another thing I would like to speak about is this. It's a quote of Pierre Berger. Pierre Berger, who was the uh, uh, fashion partner, was the business partner of uh, Yves Saint Laurent, who was our president uh, since 1986, since IFM existed, till he passed away last year. And he quite often said this. Each year he came in and spoke to our students here at, uh, at the Institute, explaining them what, it, uh, what the success of Yves Saint Laurent was about. And so quite often he said, creativity is the key. Creativity is actually what makes garments become fashion. And I think it's something that we have to keep in mind. Be, be Without creativity, this is not existing. Fashion would just be garments. And it's not only on the design part where creativity is important, it's also on the know-how where it is important, but also on the management. Everything has to be with this creative take on things. Now, on, on this quote, I'd like to quote myself as well, because quite often I say that creativity is like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it gets. And that's what we stand for here uh, at the Institute as well. A little bit more about the design programs. Uh, we we um, organize the, the existing programs to international standards, meaning that we uh, set up a three years bachelor's, bachelor's program in fashion design and a two years of master's program in design. A bit more about the bachelor. We wanted, we wanted it generalist, so more um, like it would be in, in, in medicine, starting with more uh, general know-how on, on what the, uh, the sector is about, and then being able to specialize further on the years and even more in the master programs. So we offer already specializations and discoveries or options throughout the three, the three years, starting from the end of the first year. And the, these programs are uh, delivered uh, in French as well as in English. So depending on, their, on your um, language know-how, know know it will be or in French or in English. And we deliver also French or English courses towards your needs. Now, these programs are based on the best practice of both school design programs, so what we did before, but reorganized and re-amended to uh, current standards and current needs, what a designer needs today to become fully professional in the sector. And it's enriched with the experience of an extended pedagogical team of active professional designers. And that's very important as well. Our teacher team is also working industry. As we are working in a very uh, fast-moving industry, it's important for us that we can adjust our pedagogy to the needs of the sector from year to year. A bit more now uh, about the Bachelor of Arts in Fashion Design on the signature academic approach. Now, we like to say that our program is a studio. It's compared to how a studio is working in the sector, but also a couture atelier or a laborator laboratory for research. It's where young designers are invited to learn the ropes, conduct experiments, and question the art practice, where craftsmanship meets imagination and intuition meets concept. We will speak about sustainability, social awareness and technology matters as well because that's what our sector is aiming for today. 
and we offer an extended toolbox um, in what we're setting up in the studios and the workshops, sewing rooms, as I said, workshops, fab labs as well, with mid or high tech, also, also low tech and do it yourself. Um, computer assisted design rooms as well, machine and industrial knitting room, leather groups and shoe workshops for you, for designers to make it possible to deliver or to work out all the projects. If I go a bit more deep in uh, the three years of the bachelor program, the first year is about shaping and open mindedness. Uh, mindedness, sorry. It's the foundation of what we want to teach our students. It's on experimentation, discovering the creative, creative si signature, and as I said before, learning the ropes. We're gonna approach the different body types, the human body, but also the clothes, the clothes, clothing bodies as we call them, but also the textiles, textile bodies and how a drape would fall and all that. Uh, the materials are important in there, but also the basics of sewing, pattern making, uh, molding and assembly techniques, all the, the, the elements you need for your designs to become, in the end, garments, silhouettes, a full fashion collection. We're going to um, stress also upon the practice of drawing in all its forms because drawing is a very important medium in our sector, in our businesses to express what you want, what you plan, what you project for other people to understand. I quite often say that people are not in the, hand, in the head of a designer, but we have to let people in there. And to be able to communicate as, as quick and as efficient as possible, drawing is very important in there. At the end of the year, at the end of year one, each student will have the opportunity to discover knitwear as a potential specialization as well. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let's move on to the second year where we're going to work on consolidation and developing. Um, based on the, the fundamentals of year one, we're going to enhance that to start to cultivate a more personal language and writing for designers to be able to start to express themselves with what they have in their soul, in their mind as well. Thinking more in, in terms of a silhouette and start a wardrobe, see it a bit larger than just one piece, how it's all connected and working together. Continuing to consolidate techniques, developing the creative universe, um, pushing you to do deeper research, if it's cultural and, so uh, and uh, social issues as well. Find inspiration for your writing, we uh, worked a lot in enhancing the cultural part of the program, uh, seeing fashion in a broader frame, I would say, with arts, music and news, fashion news. Learn to create links between the different skills that you acquired. How is this all connected and how are you expressing that with what you learned and with what you want to say? Uh, Creating images and stage them as well, based on your creative production, how are you going to communicate through images and through um, showing them to a certain public? Make and give sense, is what is the sense behind your design as well? How do you want, once again, to communicate that? And then in year two, students will start to specialize in knit knitwear or creative pattern making or leather goods, or accessories, which gives them the opportunity to already have a fuller take on things on fashion as well. At the end of year two, there, but we'll come back to that afterwards as well, uh, you're expected to, to do a two-month internship with a studio or an atelier in France or abroad that allow you to experience styling, pattern making and design, putting yourself already in a, a more professional environment right away. So, yeah, here we have a list of names, everybody knows, so we want you to become one of them afterwards as well. Getting to year three, where all this will ha take even more sense, where it's about conceptualization and fulfillment, you will start and assert your creative signature through craft, stylic stylistic choices, casting, location, and also an audience. Now this becomes really serious. You will develop the notion of a silhouette completely through a full collection project. That will be your final project of the bachelor. You will have to translate and divert your technical skills for creative purposes. Now, how are you going to apply what you know 
to a full collection. You will have to develop a discourse. Once again, how are you communicating on what you did, on what your collection is about? It's not only showing a result, but also explaining what's behind it. You will have to understand fashion in its industrial and econo economic reality. As I said before, we are not only pushing creativity, we want designers to be aware that there is also an economical reality behind what they're doing. So it's important that they understand that it is not only making it behind their machines at home or in the, in the, in the workshops here, but that there could also be an indus industrial and afterwards an economical reality behind it. What else? Um, yeah, we want to strengthen your area of specialization. So what you choose in year two, you're going to deepen out. Uh, can be knitwear, can be creative pattern making, can be accessories, can be image design as well in the third year. And that will prepare you for our Masters of Arts program or to do a Masters of Arts somewhere else if you would like to. And then in the end of year three, you will have to imagine, design, and develop your graduation collection, wi wi which will be the, the final um, part of your bachelor um, studies here at the Institute. And you will come up with a full presentation at the end of the third year. So far, for the three years, and as I said before, here starts the future of future fashion, as we like to say. To give a little bit uh, an idea of a timeline, what that would be. So look to the warm colors, because the cold colors are the master's program. So in the bachelor part, in the first part, you will see that the first year of the bachelor starts in September and ends in June, full year of courses and studying. While in year two, it starts in September, but ended, ends sorry, in April, where it's followed by uh, your two months of internship, and you will have about uh, four or five months to run that internship. So you can start in May, May, June or June, July. August, not that much is happening here in France, but it can also be Jul July or September, depending on what kind of internship you find out. It can be more, it can be three months, it can be four months, it can be five months, depending on what you, f you, you find and get. The idea is that you run at least a two months of internship in between year two and three. And then for year three, you'll see that uh, that starts in October because we give uh, designers the opportunity to work on uh, ready-to-wear collections that are actually uh, um, presented or shown uh, in the very beginning of October. So it starts in October. It runs, the courses are running till February, and then you're fully committed to your graduation pro graduating project that's running from March to June so far for the timeline. Now at the end, it's written here again, at the end of year three, so end of June, beginning of July, there's a public presentation or a fashion show during the Parisian Fashion Week. A bit about the workload, we have quite some questions each year about that, how much do we have to work and, and how is it working? So we try to condense our courses in uh, four days, three days and a half, four days a week. In uh, Bachelor One, there's about 34% of design, 37% of technique, and 14% of culture. In year two, we have 54% of design, 30% of technique, and 12% of culture. In uh, Bachelor Three, there's 39% of design, there's 40% of technique, and 11% of culture. Now, for those who are very good in mathematics, they'll find out that it's not 100%, because that, that leaves us a little bit of room for what we like to call soft skills, or what we call soft skills, meaning how are you positioning yourself in this, um, in this sector, in this fashion environment, especially here in Paris, how you approach that, how you position yourself, how you uh, behave yourself in there for you to be as professional as possible, as ready as possible to find jobs or internships in the sector afterwards. Important in here to say as well that we work a lot in partnerships. We have a lot of exchanges with renowned fashion houses. People come in and out here for conferences, lecturers, uh, sometimes also to work with you on your projects or to have a view on your projects throughout your um, different courses. A lot of guest lecturers, teachers that are from and working in renowned fashion houses as well. Remember what I said in the beginning, we expect our teacher team to be working alongside as well in the sector for 
for us and for them to be as, as aware as possible on how things are fast changing and fast moving. And then we have also cultural par partnerships with, for instance, the Centre National de la Danse, uh, the, the, the National Dance Center, if I translate it quickly, the Palais de Tokyo, which is about contemporary art, La Cinémathèque Française, about cinema, or La Station, for instance, for contemporary music. All these elements uh, offer our designers the possibility to um, extend their inspiration to extend their, their know-how on what's actually happening outside for them to be inspired with the, the zeitgeist but also with what's happening in other cultural or um, artistic domains outside of fashion. A bit about the courses because we spoke about these three uh, uh, important pillars design, know-how and culture. In design of course you will have fashion design uh, there's drawing and sketching, we spoke about it before. There are color workshops and fabric and material workshops. Then in the know-how, dependent of it, we have pattern making, draping, color classes, more theoretical, fabric and material classes, once again more theoretical, but also languages. I spoke about that for the French-speaking people, there will be English uh, courses, and for the uh, English-speaking people, there will be French courses. Uh, mainly for um, designers to be as, once again, as ready as possible to be able to attend an international studio. Now, on the cultural part, there is fashion history, there is fashion actualities, there is art history, of course, cultural openness that can take many, many forms, goes alongside with the partnerships I spoke uh, before, it can be with dance, can be with music, and so on. And then conferences and testimonies or talks with a large spectrum of lecturers about fashion, art and culture. Once again, all these domains are in a way influencing, inspiring fashion, inspiring designers to come up with as connected as possible collections. And then we have also possibilities, because we are in the center of Paris, in the center of an art city, to visit museums, fairs, shows, happenings, but also production units, and everything you might need to know about what the sector is about. A bit about the faculty staff, you see me there on the far right, you see Celine, you've seen before, uh, in front. We see uh, Thierry Rondonnet and Hervé yves as well. I think they're in the room over there. There they are. Um, so Thierry uh, and Hervé joined the, 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 the new um, uh, design programs here at, at IFM, at the uh, Institut Français de la Mode, for um, setting up the new programs as I spoke about before. They have a 15 years fashion teaching experience at La Cambre in Belgium. They, s they worked in a lot of fashion houses. They come here with an extended know-how about what uh, is fashion about and how it's actually functioning in studios and companies. We see in their Acne studio, but also Balenciaga, Vuitton, Lanvin, Margiela or Jean-Paul Gaultier. And they uh, are also entrepreneurs because they launched their own brand own a couple of years ago. Now, as professors in there, we have Aigle, Vanya, we have Adam Jones, who's in the room as well. Hi, Adam. Uh, who is our knitwear uh, designer and teacher. We have Oriane. Uh, we have Guillaume Langre, I've seen in the room as well. Guillaume is over there. Say hi, Guillaume. Hi, Guillaume. Uh, who is our um, teacher and responsible of our cultural uh, exchange program uh, throughout the year. And we have Gianfranco Scotti, who is our teacher in pattern making. They uh, come in here also with uh, an extended uh, ex a professional experience, as you can see once again, in these companies like Acne, Céline Dior, Kenzo, Lanvin, Margiela, and Nina Ricci. Uh, as I said, with a lot of exper um, um, professional experience, they at one point were willing to transmit to young designers. So far for the moment for the faculty staff, yes, you will have the opportunity to meet them afterwards. They will be in the design rooms on the ground level here or upstairs, where you can uh, meet them for one-to-one -one sessions or go deeper in your questions if you want. After this presentation, we will have also a question and answer session for those who want to ask some more global questions. I will be happy to answer them. Uh, yeah, another question that comes up quite uh, often 
on this open day is the recruitment process. How is this all going? So we'd like uh, to walk you through that as well. What we require from, from a designer who wants to study here in the bachelor program is to be graduates from high school, even if there are uh, options for exceptions, people who would not have their degree but would be have an excellent portfolio, we would be happy to take them in. Has to be discussed, of course. They have to be passionate about fashion. Sounds evident, but still I wanted to highlight that. Um, a foundation course is a plus, but it is not mandatory because I have quite often that question. So people who did foundation courses, it's an asset, but it's not mandatory. And they have to be fluent in or French or English as the courses are delivered or in French or in English. Knowing once again, the languages courses that will offer the possibility for French speaking people to learn English and for English speaking, speaking people to learn French. For the process as it is, excuse me, for the process as it is, uh, there's it comes in two steps. For the first step, uh, you have to submit a digital, uh, a detailed digital application file that you can find online uh, on our website. It's all uh, very well um, developed, so it's it's easy to understand. You have to upload quite a lot of things that we asked you before to know if yes or no you're accepted for the second step which is an interview day in Paris or remote. Now the best thing is, as you're all here, so for those who are interested, it will be uh, best to come back and meet your teachers, meet the professionals that are uh, will be deciding uh, if you're in the program or not. Or for those who cannot come back to Paris or who, or who are abroad, there's a possibility to do that remote through a video conference afterwards. In the in the digital application file, we ask you for uh, an extract of your portfolio. So check that out online. It's very very well developed. What we expect you to be in there. Now, if you have more questions online, you will you will find also uh, um, a specific address um, behind which we have Isabel, who was in the room, but he just walked. Out, I don't see her. So Isabel is the person behind the uh, the um, the the uh, online address who can answer all your questions if you want. So don't hesitate to drop her a line and ask your question. Now during the interview day, we will ha ask you two things. Uh, there are two assignments: a 2D and a 3D assignment. Nothing digital. 2D means drawing or uh, express yourself through a medium. That you, ex that you choose, meaning drawing or, or, or pencils or, or, uh, or whatever you want to use to express yourself through drawing. And also a 3D assignment, so something, it's a secret, something we will ask you to make in volume to be able to show to the jury members. It's more something to get your creative approach than uh, something that is actually uh, uh, judgmental. And afterwards, and that's even more important, you will have an interview with your teachers and with fashion professionals who will cook you a little bit to know what's behind your, your decision to join the institute. And based on these outcomes, we will decide if yes or no, you will start the program in September. Once again, I will be back at you afterwards for questions, if any. A bit more about careers, that's very important as well, and it's very important for uh, parents, I think, I guess. Uh, careers are very important for us, because we are not only training uh, designers for their creativity to become creative people, but we aim also for them to find a job and to make a career. Now, um, we have a list of careers or positions uh, to which the Bachelor in Fashion Design, Bachelor of Arts in Fashion Design typically, typically leads to. Uh, people that become designer in fashion studios for men or women's ready to wear, or luxury, or even haute couture, but sometime, sometimes even in high street. It's depending on, the, on the, the sensibility of the person or what they want to do in the end. They can become a de designer in leather goods, small leather goods, shoes, accessories, leather accessories, or textile accessories, depending on their sensibility as well. Or if they choose for a specific spe specialization like knitwear, they can become knitwear designers or programmers or knitwear developers as well. 
Um, or if they specialize in pattern making, they can become modelists or pattern makers. They can become managers of pattern workshops, depending once again on their skills, their know-how, and their sensibility. They can become research and development managers as well, if that is what they want to go for. Or they, bec they can become design directors, creative directors, or who knows, even artistic directors in uh, world-known uh, uh, world fashion houses here in Paris or abroad. Another important thing in there, behind the career, we have career advice and coaching. And I think we are one of the only schools in the world, if not the only, that has a, f uh, a four people, a full career team of four people that is actually uh, um, assisting our designers and our students to uh, find jobs, to find uh, internships, and even following them up throughout their careers. Now, they work on company presentations. Com companies come in and present themselves, uh, present the careers they're offering, presenting the, the jobs they're offering, or the positions they, they might have. Uh, they are done by HR professionals, or the operational staff, or also alumni. We have a very, very important um, alumni network. Thousands of people who are actually working in fashion houses who give, uh, gives us, but also young designers, an easy access to, to know what is happening in the fashion houses. And then they have an intensive individual coaching on uh, the definition of the creative identity, which is actually with the design teachers, but also assist assistance in CV writing and port portfolio preparation, also on interview coaching and uh, individual follow-ups throughout their courses, throughout the years, but also afterwards, once they're graduated or once they're uh, a lot of uh, alumni pop in every two year, two three years, I would say, to have a checkup, to see how the portfolio is going, and what they aim for as kind of job jobs afterwards. As I said, active supports in the search of uh, internships, and also an access to an extensive database of jobs and internship offers. A lot of companies ask us to uh, post their offers so they can have a direct contact with our designers or students. A bit more about the internship. I spoke about it a bit before, but let's go through it again. It's a mandatory two months internship between year two and year three of the program. An optional, yes, yeah, so I didn't speak about that, but there's an optional six months internship that's covered with paperwork after year three for people who would not want to continue for a master's program. It gives them the opportunity to start a professional uh, career. Uh, or for people who want to uh, take a break in between bachelor and master's degree, we offer, the offer them the possibility to go for an internship. Now, that six month of internship is not mandatory to obtain the diploma, just to, to make that difference clear. Once again, our students are running internship in fashion companies such as, and here you see the whole list, but there are even more, and you see a lot of renowned uh, Parisian or international fashion houses in this list where people currently actually are running their internships. Costs, quite important as well. Of course, all this comes with a cost. We are not a public school, unfortunately, but we are a non-profit organization, so whatever this is costing is going into uh, setting up the programs, into running the school. This is not about profit. We are not profit-based. It's important to know. It's 13,000 euros a year for France and European citizens, while it's 19,000 uh, euros a year for non-European citizens. Sounds a lot, but we have a great asset as well. We have the op a possibility for scholarships for French and European citizens based on economic, uh, sorry, based, it's a lot of talking, based on economical criteria and with the support of um, the uh, Institut Francais de la Mode Foundation, in which we have brands such as Chanel, Dior, Galerie Lafayette, Hermès, Kenzo, and many, many more. These people actually uh, giving us money for uh, the scholarship. So the money we collect in that foundation is mainly used to finance the scholarships of our designers and students. Now, there's a small opportunity for non-European citizens for a scholarship as well. It's not written in here, but I just want to tell you. 
uh, but that's based on economical criteria and also on criteria of excellence. So that makes a little exception. Oh, that's already the end. Well, uh, thank you, merci for your attention. Um, once again, before you leave, there's a question and answer session we can go through. And for those who are too shy to speak in public, I know designers in the beginning are quite shy, there's a possibility to uh, meet us in the design rooms on the ground floor, on the first floor, meet teachers, meet professionals who can actually uh, answer your questions or give you even a deeper insight on what the programs are about. Thank you once again for your attention and see you around soon. Bye.